Hey guys, Mike here at MH Tutorials with a new uh, video. All right, so today we're going to play around with end cloth, and what we're going to do is we are going to suspend materials between two moving objects. So think uh, ropes, wires, uh, cables, chains, uh, sheets of rubber being stretched between two objects, all sorts of applications you can think of. Uh, you can use it to create a suspended bridge. You can use it to have a moving lamp in a scene, a chandelier, whatever. Okay, so here we go. Uh, what I have created here is very really basic setup. Um, just two simple cubes, same here. A cylinder in between and a plane in between. Okay, just basic polygon objects. Now, as you can see, this has quite some subdivision going on here. And this guy as well that's very important because without subdivision the object cannot deform or you know bend and so forth so that's uh, kind of important okay so first what we're going to do is we're going to turn these two objects into end cloth objects so we're going to select them both and we're going to go into the fx menu to end cloth and create end cloth now without doing anything else with 200 frames on our animation if we hit play you'll see that this stuff will just drop straight down, okay? And there's no reason for it to be formed because there's nothing holding on to it, okay? So that's what we're gonna do next. So we're gonna take our wire, and I'll hit four for wireframe mode. I'm gonna right click, go to vertex, and I'm gonna select the vertices at the end. Just make sure I get all of them, yeah. I'm gonna shift select the wall on the right, and I'm gonna go up to and constraint and select point to surface. Okay. We're gonna do the same over here. I'll right click vertex, drag select, shift select on a wall, and point to surface. I'm gonna do the same over here. And in this case, I'm gonna do it from the top view because uh, it's easier access. So I'm gonna hit F to zoom in. Right click at a vertex, drag select that vertex row, shift select the wall, and constraint point the surface, and right click vertex, drag select that row, shift select the wall, and point the surface. So now if we go back to our perspective view with these two now as an end cloth, hit five for shaded mode. If we now hit play, you're going to see that both objects are now dropping down. Okay. Now, now we're going to get into the setting part because the way this reacts and this reacts uh, depends heavily on your settings. Okay. So we'll start with this guy. Now, first of all, if you're in your end cloth shape object, you have a preset button. And if I select that, I can choose a number of materials that I would like to apply to my object. So I can, uh, you know, um, turn this into concrete or, you know, lava or putty, silk, rubber, whatever. Okay. So let's do silk and hit replace. We're just going to hit play. And, you know, there's not a huge change, but now we're going to go into the settings. Okay. So if you look at the end cloth shape, and let's see, we're gonna go to the dynamic properties. Now stretch resistance, for example, it's 60. Let's bring that way down and let's try that again. Okay, you can see that it's now dropping further. Let's do zero. Let's see what happens. Okay, and as you can see, it's falling apart. All right, so let's go up. Let's do 100. Okay, starting to respond differently. I'm just going to go back to frame one. We'll do that again. All right, let's do 500. Go back to frame one. And as you can see, it's responding differently. Okay, now the uh, compression resistance, let's bump that up. Again, back to frame one. And as you can see, it's starting to respond differently. All right. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? Um, 
the deform resistance. Let's bring that up. Go back to frame one. Not too much going on, as you can see, right? So let's bring that down. And as we do, you can see that it's starting to respond. So what that tells you is that you have quite a lot of control on how this object will respond, okay? Another good one to keep in mind, and we'll just set this to one, is the rigidity, okay? So I'll just uh, we'll push this down a bit, go back to frame one. Let's make this uh, a bit more flexible. Bring that down, okay? So if I stop and I go back to frame one and I increase the rigidity and hit play, as you can see, nothing at all, right? Okay, so hopefully that will help you to understand what you can do with these settings. Obviously the same applies over here. We've got this sheet going on. We're gonna go to our presets and let's do solid rubber and replace, okay? We're just gonna hit play as is. Not too much going on because it's solid rubber, okay? We're gonna hit stop, we're gonna go back. Let's see what we can tweak here. Stretch resistance, we'll set that to five. Compression resistance, we'll set that to five. Bend resistance, five. Go back to frame one, hit play. Looks like that's not the perfect preset to use, so let's do something else. We'll go to presets, let's do silk and replace. And there we go, okay? All right, now, Next part, which makes it more interesting, is okay, but what if we animate all this stuff, okay? So we're gonna go back to frame one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two guys. Actually, we'll do them one by one. We'll take this guy, we're on frame one. We're gonna hit S to keyframe that. Then we're gonna scroll to frame 20. And we're gonna pull that out here. And don't mind this, that will be fine. Okay, so we're gonna hit S again to keyframe that. We're gonna push it up. Sorry, go to frame 40 first. Push it up. S to keyframe again. We'll go to frame 60. And we'll kind of move it over here and push it down a bit. And we'll hit S to keyframe again. And then we're gonna go to frame one and we're just gonna play this out, see what happens, okay? All right, now you see that blue section there? Um, the object is moving okay, and my cable wants to follow, but it's too rigid to follow, okay? So we're gonna go back to frame one. We're gonna select this object. We're gonna go into our settings. Stretch resistance, we're gonna bring that way down. Let's set that to five, okay? Let's try this again. All right, a little better, but not there yet. We're gonna bring down our compression resistance because we're stretching this out quite a bit. Okay, still not there. Okay, let's see, rigidity. We're gonna bring that guy down to 0 0.7 roughly. Okay, already much better. Okay, we're gonna stop that. Let's do 0 0.1. And there you go. And you can see that it's following it around. Now let's see if we can make this a little bit more um, flexible. We'll do one and one. Go back to frame one, hit play. Okay, and now it's responding more like a, uh, I don't know, an elastic band or something like that, okay? All right, now let's go to our sheet over here. We're gonna do the same thing pretty much. We're gonna take this guy, we're in frame one. We're gonna hit S to keyframe it. Then we're gonna scroll to frame 20. Let's pull that out to roughly the same position. Hit S to keyframe that. 
scroll, scroll to frame 40. Let's move it over there and move it up. As to keyframe, let's scroll to frame 60. Move it down and a bit in. And hit as to keyframe. We're going to set everything back to frame 1. And let's see what we got. Okay. As you can see, the uh, this rubber sheet here is having a hard time. And what I'll actually do is I'll bring these frames down to, let's say, 100. So we don't have to wait out. One hundred, sorry. Oops, sorry, guys. One hundred, one hundred. Okay. Okay, now let's focus on the movement of our sheet. Okay, so we're going to select it and let's go into our settings. And let's see, where do we go? Where do we go? Yeah, here we go. All right, so end cloth shape two, there are settings, okay? So stretch resistance, let's bring that way down. Give it another go. All right, good. Compression resistance, we'll bring that down as well. Let's see what happens if we set these both to zero. Okay, that's too much as you can see, okay? So let's do four on that looks okay then let's go down here um, let's say we increase the rigidity to five what you will see is that you know it's going to be like a board um, you know that's going to be moved up and down so we'll do uh, three a bit better two better one and zero okay so again, this is just to demonstrate, you know, what you can do with all these settings. And keep in mind that there are a lot of things you can use this for, right? Um, like the examples that I gave you. So be creative, have fun with that. And if you have any questions, let me know and I'll help you if I can. Thanks for watching. Bye.